everybody, welcome back to Charlie and Me, our camping vlog. Uh, this is an info video, we haven't done one for a while. We've been asked for, by a few people on the podcast, the Camping Crew podcast, and on Charlie and Me to talk about awnings, safari rooms. Now we did one on the gazebo, or gazebo, depending on what part of the world you're from. But Chris from the Camping Crew podcast joins me here. He actually uses an awning. Uh, is yours a safari room? Come in, shut it. it it's, a, it's a drive away awning, isn't it? Yes, yeah. And it's the Van Gogh. The Van Gogh Idris Tall. Right, you can, now, there. you can see it there in the bag. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a couple of cameras. And Chris, <laughs> do I, can you do this on your own or is it a two-man job? You can do it on your own, but it's easier with a second person. Right. It's just quicker. Just for just getting the straps over the roof or getting right. it onto the So let's awning. explain this one. You don't have an awning as in a wind-out awning like I have. So this is a drive-away awning that you throw straps over the roof and then you can physically unstrap it, lock it down and drive away and leave the complete awning. That's what we're going to show you now, how Chris connects the whole awning from... It's a blow-up awning, so there's, there's no pegs, there's no well, there's pegs, there's it's no a bars. a lot of hard work. Right, so let's set up a few cameras. that Chris is going to use a hand pump to pump up the Van Gogh awning because they're, they're, they're air awnings but he also bought this from Van Gogh it's for pumping up into your cigarette lighter but for the purpose of this and he wants a bit of exercise he used this one that he has here which is the hand pump now that comes with the kit that comes this is an extra And this is the middle bit that goes in to give it the shape. Chris was actually saying that if you're connecting this to an awning, slide out awning, it's easier to connect it first and then come in. And then this is the piece that goes inside. Now, you were saying you got a puncher in one of these before and are kind of overnight it to you? Yeah, that one there. I just was able to take the tube out, put a brand new tube in. And does the tube look like this piece here? Well, it's a, just a clear plastic thing. Kind of. like, like a bike tube? Yeah, but really clear plastic. Can you get a puncher repair kit? You can, but my tear was on the seam. So it would have been so too hard to do. Oops, just take my finger out of Comes away. with repair kit and everything. So that's it, now you just have to peg it down and throw it over the roof, which you'll do now. These are the storm straps. Now when you say storm straps... They, they come off. So, the strongest tent is a triangle tent. Yes, where these ones because, aren't. So this is stops it from doing All it. right, okay. It's supposed to move. It's supposed to have a bit of give in it. Yes, a little bit more than poles would. Can you give like that? Yes, yeah. right. And that's what these are for. Okay. Nine times out of ten you don't need to put them up. Okay. It's just windy nights, just for better off. So that's the tent, what it looks like, drive away. Show us the piece that's going to go over. You're saying where it's all rolled up? Yeah, I just need to unroll it first. Just unroll it, you can see it. So this is what we will call the canopy cover that connects between the tent and the camper van, the motorhome, whichever you happen to be setting it up to. And these are ideal for camper vans as well as motorhomes. Version and a standard version. What one is this? This is the tall. This is the tall. The lower vans. The standard one. 
But when you say standard and tall, that's in this piece that you're rolling out. The awnings are the same size, basically. So standard and tall, what Chris is explaining is this piece that rolls out, it's, this is the tall one because it's a motorhome and a standard one wouldn't be rolling out as high for a camper van. Now Chris is going to connect straps to this and then we throw the straps up over the motorhome and peg them down on the other side that's and that's basically it. So that's your canopy shell. Oh, that's the piece that goes into the awning on my van. Yes. The PM or the Omni Store. Yes. And then technically you might need to get an adapter. Okay. So I think the Omni Store ones are either smaller. I think, the I think they're slightly smaller than the Fiamma ones. But do you reckon that that would slide straight into the Fiamma? But there's no harm having the figure eight piece anyway. It's much easier for putting on because then you don't have to move the awning or the tent. Yes. Or the camper. So look. And then that pulls up over the roof. And we throw that over the roof. And we peg it to the other side, so let's take a look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, Chris has a little bit of magic. This thing that he's holding in his hand, I have used before. And it's to help. No harm having one of these. Just get it up over anything that's done. Oh, just that's fine there now. That's grand there, and yeah. And now the other side here. That's it. Well, you tell me that that's against the wall and jobs. It's against the wall of the motorhome. Okay, yeah, I'm still trying to take this on you. And then you just strap that down, pull it taut, and put a peg into it. Now, some people, Chris was saying, don't go this far. You were saying that some people just actually tie it to their ladder. Or we just tie it to the, to, to, to the actual ladder, rather than going to this hassle. Yeah, because with the kids running around, yeah. there's more chance to trip up. This is and the then that just, way. This is the way, if you go on to the Van Gogh website, And then you do the same on the other side. You just peg this corner down then onto the front, like so. And you do it the same on the other side. And there is, this is not sponsored by Van Gogh, it just happens that Chris has one. And that's it. And you do get great space out of it. And then simply, Chris, if you want to drive away, you unstrap this, yeah, throw the two back, here. and and just roll it back up. Right, so this is an entrance door. Now, you have that door on each side, haven't you? This door on each side, yeah. You're saying this is a door here, which is into the tent. Yeah. You have a door here, which opens up into the tent. And that's just a window and then that's another entrance in there but this is what it looks like strapped in and now I'll show you the inside and then so this is the bit to close up when you drive away and then you can open this right back and when you open this up does it come with poles or no you just you just you have to find the pole separately. And it comes with a, a clip-on ground sheet, but you use a breathable ground sheet. Yeah, the newer ones, the black ones, and the, the darker coloured ones come with a fixed ground sheet. That you can't in it, use. right. Built in, built in okay. The bigger ones generally have the, the bigger ones. Have the built-in ground sheet. So you know if you've got two kids, a dog, this is a fine bit of extra space. You can literally just open the motorhome door. You've got your shelter if you've done it right. If it was on my motorhome, you could have your awning out a little bit, so you'd have even a little bit more room. And Chris has usually set that up on site, has did a bit of cooking out there, and we've sat in here quite comfortably. Yeah. And you were saying you can get poles if you want to for that to make it a canopy, but you, you didn't bother, you just have them that it rolls open. Yeah, and you can also get a zip-in bedroom that comes inside this, which is blackout kind of bedroom. Same size? Except when it clips into the, this little clips along one of the side here so it clips in hangs yes. up onto all this and up onto the thing and it takes about half the space so it's basically a double air bed okay and you still have this piece still then over here in, yeah. right all in all roughly what are they starting at in price now you have that you have this a while i think they're going starting the bango model is only about somewhere between five and six hundred euros 
do you reckon it's worth it? Oh yeah. And you've used, you've used it. Yeah. Have you got it that long? Four or five years, I'd say, yeah. And you can see a couple of repair points, but that was our own. But they do, they get damaged. But you were saying it's easy enough to get puncture repair kits or get bars. You had all of this replaced, the inner tube replaced. It's easy to, I did it all myself. Because it's, it's just in through that zipper. In, yeah. We'll roll, roll out. So you're rolling from that side that way. So we were asked to do that video on the awning. So thanks to Chris from the Camping Crew Podcast for allowing us to use his awning for it. Look, there are different types of awnings, drive-away awnings, safari rooms. My last camper came with a safari room that slid onto three walls onto my awning and it was a massive big room. I still have it actually. I didn't let it go with the last camper, forgot all about it. So just search, you'll get them the likes of O'Mara Camping, Charles Camping. You'll get them online from suppliers like Van Gogh uh, that Chris got his from. So hope the video was of some help. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell. As you can see, the camping crew are all doing breakfast. It's uh, only half 10 in the morning <laughs> and everybody's being fed. So anyway, thanks for subscribing. Thank you for clicking on the bell and don't forget the podcast every Wednesday with myself and Chris and from Charlie and me. Take care and we'll talk to you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.